Hey everyone, today I'm super excited. I am doing another collab with my twin Heather, AKA Crazy Beautiful MUA. If you aren't aware of who Heather is, she is a makeup artist. She has YouTube, Instagram. I think she even does shorts and possibly even TikTok. I'm gonna link her channel down below in the description. It would mean the world to me if you'd go watch her video and check out her channel. All right, today's collab is inspired by the new season we just came into. We're gonna be putting together a look using products we find give a fall or autumn inspiration. I personally don't think using concealer or foundation necessarily has a fall inspiration. So I already have my complexion products on. If anyone's curious, I'm using the Misha BB Cream for foundation. And under my eyes for concealer, I actually have a mix of high end and low end. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Radiance Concealer along with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't think bronzer necessarily is or is not a fall staple, but this is what I'm gonna be putting on my face. This here is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Um, I love this product, so it doesn't matter if it's spring, summer, winter, or fall, I would reach for this. It comes in this beautiful, large compact, and you get a lot of product. Ever since I did that going latte look or latte look, I am really loving bronzing up. It could be that summer just ended. Well, technically summer didn't end, but you know, we are now into September. I went to Costco. I kid you not, they have pumpkin pies out, they have Halloween candy out, and Christmas stuff. It's September, it's Labor Day weekend. What is the world coming to? I'm gonna take a damp sponge and just tap that in. I love pressing in bronzer and blush. It just helps to make sure you don't have any harsh lines. Okay, for blush, I went through my collection and found this more recent product I picked up, I wanna say, from Ipsy Add-ons. It's from Danessa Myricks. It's the Vision Flush. And this just had a beautiful kind of, not super dark, but not a pinky spring or summer kind of a shade. It is a liquid product, so let me just do a little swatch. You need the tiniest amount and then you just blend it on out. All right, let's put a few dots on and should I use a brush or my fingers? Let's try my fingers and then maybe pounce in with the sponge. Ooh, did I put too much on? Not to worry, sponge can help us out. In real life, it's looking beautiful. I don't know if on camera, if my lights are washing me out. Take a little extra there, pounce. Again, if you ever get too much blush on your face, just grab the sponge you use to apply your foundation and it will help pounce everything in. For highlighter, I was struggling to figure out what kind of a highlighter is more fall inspired. And then I found this product here from Ofra, which has actually four different shades. And I'm thinking this bronzy shade maybe mixed in with this peach. I don't know. I'm just going to try to avoid pinks, even though I love pinks, because to me, a fall look is more warm, brown, orange, and rust. I'm really inspired by when the leaves on like maple trees change. I love how beautiful that looks. I'm just gonna bounce it between these two shades here and hope it's not too, too dark. Ooh, that is a little dark. Okay, I'm gonna grab my sponge and pounce that in. All right, I would say if you're fair like me, um, no, 
that bronzy golden shade not so much so I'm going to go into a lighter shade and see if I can't help the situation because all I see is a big old stripe of bronze all right I just went off camera and pounced the heck out of my cheeks so hopefully that helped slightly all right let's move on to the true product that I find really gives your face that fall look and that is an eyeshadow palette this packaging alone to me screams fall this here is from melt cosmetics and it's the 27 palette look at that palette that to me is fall you have some beautiful rust shades some deep oranges some browns this is going to be gorgeous i'm going to start off by priming my eyes this here is the mac paint pot in the shade painterly i used to be super lazy and didn't use um eye primers but now i've just been on a kick and make sure i prime my eyes all right i'm gonna start off by using the shade here called one more thing and get that into the crease it's a little powdery but i've seen worse this is a beautiful not super cool tone but not too warm tone i'd say a neutral brown I'm just going to take the brush and pinch it and drag it underneath my lower lash line. I really enjoy getting a little shadow underneath. It just adds a little pop of color. To deepen up the outer corner, I'm going to go into this shade here called Downtown, which is a beautiful kind of brown, rusty, orangey red. Just going to pack it on, not blend it quite yet. Just place it directly on the outer edge just by tapping it. And then again, I'm going to take whatever's remaining and just drag a little on the lower outer third of my lash line. I'm going to grab the brush I used when I set down that first color and use that to kind of blend the two together now i'm going to go into the deepest shade in this palette which is called moon child take a very small brush and just really get the outermost corner here i'm going to take this rusty orange shade here called moxie and kind of marry the corner into the center of my lid like right there Ooh, that's really pretty and screaming fall i'm gonna take this shimmer shade here called crime fighter and get that right on the top center of my lid here and drag it over that kind of rusty orange shade and blend the two together i just realized i forgot to zoom in let me zoom in apologies for not doing that sooner okay so i am wanting a little more shimmer on my eyes and this palette isn't quite delivering so i grabbed this single cream shadow here from charlotte tilbury this is the eyes to mesmerize and i have it in the shade walk of no shame and this is a beautiful rust it just screams fall to me so i'm gonna add some right here is it gonna be too dark well we are going for a fall look still want something a little lighter so I think I'm just gonna dip into the Ofra highlighter I think I'm gonna try this kind of peachy 
orange shade and cross my fingers. Um, hopefully this will brighten up and give the shimmer. Okay, yes, there we go. That is what I love in an eye look. I like having the inner corner slightly bright and just a little more shimmer in the inner corner. I'm going to take the lightest shade and just tap some on my brow bone. I love a shimmery brow bone. I know it's not for everyone, but if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Because once I tried it, I was like, I like that. I'm going to go back in one last time with that darkest shade and just really get that outer edge a little deeper. And then do one last blend. All right, I'm gonna pop off camera, touch up my mascara, add eyeliner, and then I'll come back and do the lip products. All right, I'm back. I've applied eyeliner and mascara. If anyone's curious, I use the Essence Last Princess in Waterproof. And for eyeliner, this is the Sugar Rush Tarte, easy on the eyes and liquid eyeliner is from Moira. I recently posted a liquid lipstick declutter video and when I was doing the declutter, I ran across this bullet lipstick from Dose of Colors and since it wasn't a liquid lipstick, I pulled it aside. Well, today I grabbed it and thought this would be the perfect shade for a fall or autumn look. This here is in the shade Mocha. And this is darker than I normally wear, but I think pairs beautifully with the eye look. During that same declutter, I ran across this lip product from Makeup Revolution. This is the Sheer Brilliant Lip Gloss, which is in the shade Sheer Brunch. And I'm fairly certain this is gonna pair beautifully with this lipstick. All right, here is the final look. Let me know your thoughts. Let me zoom back out and I will give my thoughts on the products I used today. I'm really enjoying the eyeshadow colors as well as this lip combo. Who knew I would be into something this dark? Well, for me, this is dark, but I think they look beautiful together. I was excited to be able to use the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize. I got this in a mystery box and I honestly don't reach for it that often, but I think the shade is perfect for a fall eye look. Also the perfect fall eye look is this palette from Melt Cosmetics. If you like warm browns, oranges, rusty shades, I think you would love this palette. Blush I think is a good shade, nice product. I struggled when it came to picking a blush. I almost went for an orangey one, but I figured we got orange on the eyelids. I don't want it to clash too much, but I think this was a really good shade. All right, now I want to hear from you. What do you think of the look? Do you change your looks based off of season or do you just wear the same thing all year round? I just go with what kind of mood I'm in. Also, it's still really sunny and warm out because it is only the third or fourth of September. Um, ask me again how I feel about what shades of makeup I use when it's November, really cold and rainy and dark outside. All right, I want to thank Heather for doing another collab with me. Please go check out her video. And I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, if you could click that thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right. Thanks, everyone.